So remember that time I filmed a video, but I didn't actually turn my camera on? Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're refilming a video. And you know why? Because I never turned the camera on at my last time, last little attempt at this situation. But I was thinking about completely redoing everything, but you know what? It's real life, guys. So I'm just gonna show you what I did off camera, basically. But this is gonna be a cash clip or cash envelope update. So I am a big fan of Dave Ramsey. A lot of you guys follow my budgeting videos and I will leave a playlist up above for you guys as well as down below. It's my Money Talk playlist, so it has all things to do with finances if y'all are interested. But one of my most popular videos to date is organizing my wallet. Um, I got this new wallet from Target. I believe it was $16.99. I'm not sure of the brand. I will link it down below, but I do remember it was $16.99 at my local Target. Um, I really, really like this because I'm gonna show you guys the inside. It is a dual zipper. And you know, I haven't purchased a ton of different wallets at Target, mainly because I feel like the hardware just isn't the best, but this zipper is very, very nice. It glides really, really well. Well, having a little trouble with it at the moment, but that's my like user error problem. Uh, mostly because I'm irritated at myself. <laughs> so this is, uh, okay, so this one is to me the main pocket. So as you look inside of here, sorry, it's a little bit dark. Hopefully I can try to explain this as well as possible. You've got four pockets, so two on each side for like ID or cards or gift cards or whatever. And then you've got one long compartment for cash. This also has like a little uh, zipper closure for like coins and things like that. And then on the other side, it's exactly the same. So you've got the four slots for cards and then the larger slot for bills. So that's the first compartment. And then the second compartment is exactly the same as the first, except for it just doesn't have that little coin zippered area in there. So you've got four card slots on each side and a bill slot and then another four slot on each side and a bill compartment. So I thought that this would be really, really nice for what I wanna use it for. Um, of course, the main section is probably what I'm gonna be utilizing the most. And I thought it'd be nice you could separate your cash really easily. If you follow the Dave Ramsey plan, you probably know about using cash for items or categories in your life that you tend to overspend in. And I'll share kind of what mine are in just a moment. I was also thinking about possibly like putting a label or something up here or maybe like even down here saying what this category was, but I decided on something a little bit different. So let's put this aside. I have had these for quite a while. This is the like brand name thing in it. I took it out already, but it is BCW Protect Store Display. It's the deluxe currency holder and there's 50 holders in the like packet that I got. I don't think you need this many. I think these are actually for like, you know, bills that are like really fancy and things like that, but I'm not using it for fancy bills. I'm just using it for like my bills. So here are the categories that I've decided to utilize for my new cash clip system. So the first one, oh, let me zoom you guys in a little bit so we can see a little bit better. So the first one is grocery. As we all know, I feel like a lot of people identify with this. Grocery spending is so difficult regardless if you're single like myself or if you've got you know, a family of eight, it doesn't matter. Grocery is definitely one of those overspending for tons and tons of people. So um, I use these little event stickers from Christian Designs as well as all the icon stickers that I'm gonna show you today are from Coffee Break Planner. I will link both of those sticker shops down below, but I apologize that I can't show you actually me putting them together. I feel like a bad YouTuber. <laughs> so my most used category will probably be this grocery category. Moving on, I have a dining category. Sorry about the reflection, that's actually the viewfinder. Um, so in the dining category, I use from Coffee Break Planner this little silverware set. So I use, I think this is the gray color, gray or black, um, but I just thought that would be good for dining. So I definitely budget like dining out money, um, 
you know, dining out and Kuroshi to me are a little bit interchangeable. I mean, clearly do what you want to do. It's just one of those things that I can flex with that just a little bit. I have my home category, which I absolutely love. And when I was filming my other video, but not having the camera on, I was commenting that I wanted to use the beige house because my house is beige, like everything in my house is kind of this beigey white color. So I thought that would be really cute. So I just put home on there. And actually what I'm gonna use this for, I wanna explain a little bit, is this is actually gonna be like more of like a sinking funds situation. So I can just, you know, put my bills in there. I do have a ton of home projects that I wanna accomplish next year. And I figured I could, you know, store away a little bit of money every month for this. And um, if you guys are interested in seeing that video, I think that video is gonna be up before this video. I film so much in advance that I never really know. So if it is up, I will link it up above and um, I just kind of categorized all of the different spaces in my home and sh kind of shared the different things like on my task or to-do list that I want to accomplish in two by to the end of 2019 so this will be great for this plus I have like a ton of electrical stuff I want to do like hopefully by the end of the year but um, you know that'll kind of go in to that also we've got Doyle and um, you know use the same green event sticker and then also a little orange paw because Doyle is kind of an orange color he is a red Shiba Inu so um, this is for mostly like his food and things like that um, I don't really use like a Doyle sinking fund like actual cash cash for like his medication and stuff because that's all taken out directly from my debit card I'm not using like cash cash for it so, um, but yeah, I figured I would use this for like his food. Normally I buy his food and everything at Petco. I've recently switched to buying it on Amazon. So this could be for like vet bills or like anything that kind of comes up that's like, an, a, like a Doyle expense, I will put into here. And then the last category I have for now is going to be the state fair. I actually have the state fair coming up very soon if it's not happening already by the time you guys see this video. Like I said, I don't know when it's going up. But um, there were these really cute little Ferris wheel stickers from Coffee Break Planner, which I thought would be perfect. And if I save just a little bit every month, um, I will have more than enough money. I usually budget myself about $100 for the state fair, and that's going one time. I know a lot of people ask how often I go. Um, I just go once a season, like once a year. So I don't tend to go many times. I know there's lots of people that go like four or five times, and like no problem, but I just find that it's it's very, very expensive. So these three categories, the state fair, the Doyle, and the home, I won't necessarily have in my wallet at all times, but I like the option to have it in my wallet. So if I'm going to have it in my wallet, I would put it on the opposite side here, and I would probably put state fair and Doyle together because those are gonna be a little bit smaller than um, the home. So nice thing is you can see exactly what you're looking for. I absolutely love that. I think that's so cool. And then on the other side, I would put my home one and I can slip some cash right into there. And then I can zip this baby up, no problem. And then over here, I would put my dining, whoa, you can't see it, hey, I would put my dining as well as my groceries, which this will be my most accessed one. But the nice thing I love about this is as I'm opening up my wallet, say at the grocery store, I don't have to pull out like a full clip of cash. Before I had to pull out a clip of cash and it just, you know, I had to like reorganize it while I was kind of like at the register. And now I can just pull out as much tender basically that I need and I can throw it back in here. And even if I don't like reorganize it and actually put it in the plastic um, sleeve here, I'll know that it's, you know, for that. As well as a lot of people ask me how I separate out my coin. To me, my coins are like communal coins. I don't get too wrapped up in the coins as to like, oh, this one goes with this category and this one goes with that category. I know some people do. Um, so it's kind of up to you how you wanna work that. 
but you know, if I have coins, I try to use them as much as I can because they're kind of annoying to me. But, um, but yeah, so like if something is, you know, $10 and 25 cents at the grocery store and I've got a quarter, I'll give them the quarter. Um, even if it came from say like my dining category or something like that, but I just absolutely love the way this looks. And I think that this is going to be really, really nice moving forward. All right. So that is going to be it for the update as to how I'm using it. Sorry. I don't have any cash to stuff in here right now. My purse is in another room and I'm going to be transitioning into this in the next couple of days, but I just haven't done it yet. Clearly none of my cards or anything are in here, but I will be doing that fairly soon. Again, I will link as many items as I can find down in the description box down below if you are interested. And if you follow Dave Ramsey and the Ramsey Solutions team and do all the budgeting things and do cash, let me know how you store your cash envelope system. If it's just with some paper clips or like little dividers in your wallet, or you keep it all at home until you need to run to the store and then you grab the cash. Like how do you do it and what works for your family? Make sure to let me know in the comments down below. So thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a good old thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you like this kind of content and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you